yesterday went out. My wife's been sat um, with the tyre pressure monitors and one of the tyres was flat. So today, I'm just going to check them. I'll just stick this under my arm. I'm trying to get as accurate pressure as possible, so I'm using the gauge. This is a, a Vivo gauge off Amazon. I'm not saying it's the most accurate gauge, but it's better than the normal ones that you get with the cheap compressors, which I'm going to be using as well. So I'm going to go around and check which tyre is flat and check the pressures either by the manual or on the um, sun's shining directly in my eyes um, or what's on the I think it's on the door pillar of the Passat. Let me just check. Uh, no, not that one. So, look around. So many different cars. Here we go. Yeah, that's. Uh, okay, so where you would check on this particular. Passat is and the fuel filler. I'm just having a look at the size. These are 235 40R18s. So just so on the inside, there's your pressure 235 R18s will be that one there. So you've got it in KPA bar and PSI. Oh, and here. 39. Oh, I'm going to go on PSI. 39 for 44 here. So I'm just going to get that pressure gauge out. best to do a pressure monitor with the or the pressure check-in with cold tyres. I don't think that's a correct setting. So have a look at it. That's better. So that's well down. That's 30. That's 30. It should be 44. I think they said they're making this look. Fully loaded. We won't be going fully loaded. So I'm just imagining the normal is 36 rear, 36 front. So that this uh, this one certainly needs to do in. So I'll just quickly check the others. Right, I've checked them all, they all need doing. Um, so what I'm going to do, just using a normal, this is a cheap ring compressor using the car's cigar lighter, cigarette lighter to charge it. And I will check it with a more accurate um, pressure gauge. And because it's really noisy, film this but I shall check them all and I'll show you how to reset on the steering wheel okay so this is you can't tell it but when these cheap compressors this is reading just over 40 it's 41 sorry not that one 41 but on the actual when I check it it's just over 35, so that's close enough for me. Because by the time you've unscrewed it and everything, you lose a little bit of pressure. So, just over 35, that's fine. Okay, so it's showing 41, 42. I'm going to take the compressor and this one, more accurately, 36, bang on. Thank you. Okay, so in this particular Passat, 
Uh, it hasn't got the really accurate tire pressure monitor system, so you have to go and check which one is deflated. I'm just going to spin the camera around so you can see what's happening, and I'm going to reset it. Okay, so you've got that warning light just there on the dash, and you go to the right hand side, click the button once. Scroll down until so you come to tyre pressure, press OK. When all tyre pressures have been checked, please store, that's what I'm going to do. You can only do it when you're not moving. Door for yes, so scroll down, confirm, tyre pressure stored, so now if anything changes, it'll come back up, that's all it is.